Natasha says, hey, everyone, I'm new to the group and completely new to using Teams. Currently, my office uses WebEx. Boo. Yes. Uh, and when I schedule meetings, which is what we use for daily training for our remote staff, I have to join the meeting, give someone else the host role, and then I can leave. With Teams, can I set up the training area without having to join daily and reassign roles? Yes, you can. And when you create the meeting, yes. the meeting option setting, yay, you can determine a if anyone in your organization can be the host or if only specific people in your organization can be the host. Um, if they're external to the organization, that's where it gets a little dicey because they may not have permission in your tenant. But yeah, the meeting settings are a blessing. Um, and what my peeve, this is my mm. peeve. Uh-oh. <laughs> In Teams, you don't see those meeting options, the link for that, till after you create the meeting, and then you have to go back and edit them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. In Outlook, if you create the meeting from Outlook and add Teams to it, then the little meeting options thing appears, and you can do that before you send it out. So yeah. Microsoft, that would be great too, if we had just a little, you know, advanced options, a little expander at the bottom of the meetings pane window where we can make those settings before we set them out because. You know, if, if, if you change those admin settings, this is a question for me. Uh, if you change those, does it have to then resend out that meeting? Is there some kind of a update that needs to happen to the invite that was sent out, or does it just, or can you modify that as the if you sent out the initial invite that of that setup uh, without inviting anybody, and it just makes it in the background? Do you know? I think if you change like who can host. I think it does because it changes like their role in the meeting, but I don't, I don't know that it's um, like two meeting invites or an updated meeting invite. I think it just happens in the background and it, yeah. you know, until they accept it, you know, they accept it as is, but you have to do it immediately. You can do it up until the meeting starts. You can yeah. change the options up until the meeting starts, but yeah. after it starts, so there's a lot of the settings you can't change or haven't been able to change. And those are getting better. You know, like being able to turn the mm -hmm. chat on and off, you know, mm -hmm. or yeah, it used to and be for, whatever it was when the meeting started was what you got. So for Tasha too, she might appreciate the fact you can set those meetings to auto record. If those are being recorded as training sessions, you can have it auto record. So you don't have to worry about joy for getting to hit the record button until halfway through the presentation. Yeah. So that's that's on that same meeting settings page. I love that feature. I've never done that. <laughs> I am a big proponent of the auto record for that for a different reason. I mean, so it helps in this scenario. I just, I am a, I believe that meetings, so a, a corporate setting, it's part, part of the tenant, that meetings are an information asset. And so by mm -hmm. hitting record and then recording and makes it and transcribing automatically as well, makes it instantly once that's saved and the transcription is done, makes it searchable across the entire discussion, which is fantastic. As long as it oh. understands you. Uh, the funniest transcription I've seen is that I have your other flash drive and it transcribed as I love your mother. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. see that? Yeah, in tech, well, yeah, that could be taken as a wrong thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, what was this meeting about? Yeah, exactly. all HR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't mumble, don't, don't join a meeting with marbles in your mouth or eating yeah. a sandwich, yeah. Yeah. It's the best my practice. Car doesn't, my car doesn't even understand me. Did you say no? Did no. you say no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too funny. I love transcription. <laughs> <laughs>